us not to hold Lisandro Martinez talks. The announcement of Gabriel Jesus to us no reasons have been given as to why it's being on hold by Fabricio Romano. We are talking Memphis DP being offered to Arsenal. We are talking, we are talking lots of players in there for you. Gabriel Marquinhos, sorry, Marquinhos coming in from Sao Paulo, said bye bye to his family and he is traveling to London. And I think this is the main reason as to why the unveiling of Gabriel Jesus is being hold because they want to first unveil Marquinhos officially holding that shirt then later he will be unveiled and then then Gabriel Jesus will come on in there for you thirdly there is a story of Nicola Pepe that Arsenal really failing to get possible suitors to go in for him that is another story we really want us to talk about and then we have to talk about players in there for you at Arsenal in there for you that are really celebrating big things in there for you on today Arsenal beat Real Madrid and Beat Real Madrid and um, another Spanish team on the signing of Robert Pires. So today is when Robert Pires signed for Arsenal, and it's how many years? Very many years, because I really watch Robert Pires, and I've been watching football for the last 23 years. So it looks like Robert Pires has been at Arsenal for some long time, either for you, and then he really left and went for Villarreal. That is a sad who a man who goes by the names of Robert Pires. Then the other story: Happy birthday. Balogan, you know Ibrahim Balogan, that under-21 striker for Arsenal. He has been at the academy and he went in and played for a side which goes by names of Middlesbrough in the in the summer. Sorry, in the, in the in the recently concluded season, he really scored lots of goals and he is really back in here at Arsenal and training. And yesterday, was he among the people that scored? Because there is Inketia who scored a hat trick. Balogan, I think, scored one and um, and Lokonga. Remember, Arsenal held its first preseason game like yesterday. It was behind doors. Nketiah scoring a hat streak. Um, Balogan, the birthday boy today, we are celebrating. He scored really a goal and Lokonga. And that Lokonga goal was first misquoted that it was scored by Ray Nelson, but it was later given to a man who goes by the names of Lokonga in there. For you. Lokonga is one of my favorites at Arsenal. I really like the way he's really. He's really a calm player and press resistant. You get he has an eye for those long balls in there for you. So to me, I really believe that Ateta has a good player in making. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go in the lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button and then hit the notification bell. That will enable you get notified each and every time I put a video onto this channel, which goes by the names of Rokani Media Football. The transfer news show is what we are on right about now. And let's set the ball running in here for you now today you see that story in there for you of a lad who goes by the names of maquinos it has been reported by the arsenal guns they've gone to tweet they've gone to instagram and they really got these photos of maquinos saying bye bye to his friends and family yesterday and traveled to london to join the arsenal squad i think his work permit has been really gotten because that was one of the things that has been really delaying this deal to happen and travel to a side which goes by the names of England. I think he has the work permit, he has the visa with him, and Ed has been working tirelessly to get him to Arsenal because Arsenal really traveling to Germany, I think, tomorrow. So maybe he'll connect with them in that side. But all in all, things are okay with a man who goes by the names of Aquinos as for now. And we look at the situation right now, it looks like it has normalized because him coming in here. And the side which goes by the names of Arsenal has been confirmed because he's flying from Brazil to come to this side in here that is known as London Conley at Arsenal. Everything has been sorted. I think that's the message they are really, really pursuing or telling us. That is the lad. That is the lad with his friends in there for you. And they said, family, you see, he is the one. He is the one putting on a black cape. You get? You get? That is the lad in there for you. And there he is. And he said, left London in there for you. So he left for London. That's why you see two flags in there for you. Brazil and then that of London. And at Marquinhos was tagged in there for you. So Marquinhos has officially left for us now. And I know he might have arrived like in the wee hours of the night. And he's really doing great to come in at the side, which goes by the name of Arsenal and do the needful in there for you. So Marquinhos is now 
in London according to me for told you to calculate the the jet duration or the flight duration from Brazil Sao Paulo to UK it's like 10 hours and 15 minutes so we expect him to be already doing great at the side which goes by the names of Arsenal that is a man who goes by the names of Marquinhos so everyone who was asking me about Marquinhos I think you just got sorted Marquinhos left for London last 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 I think yesterday you get in the last in the last 15 hours he traveled and i know he reached very well in london even there for his so whole welcome Marquinos, and we know that in the due course of this week he's really going to be shown to the the the, the, the social media platforms of arsenal him holding that shirt of arsenal in there for you another story coming in from sport from at sport in there for you has close to 1.9 million followers on twitter they are saying that Arsenal have been told they can sign Memphis to pay for 24 million euros or 21 million pounds from Baka. Well, as Baka is trying really to go in and bring in Rafinha and do the rest of the business and other and really retain Osman Dembele, bring in Liz, Liz, bring in um, Bernardo Silva, bring in a player who goes by the names of Lewandowski. They are really trying on the outs. I've really read a story that there are some players at Barcelona that have been told not to return. That is, there is Omtiti. You know Omtiti very well. Let me check in here for you very well as I really narrate that story. Omtiti has been told not to come back at at Barcelona on training. There is, um, let me check them here. A moment i don't want to disopolize my screen but i know managing baka really has them here so i really want to let you the list of those players that have been told not to not to report at barcelona in there for you and that story is really so much so much hot and it leads us to the memphis debate i really want to see whether memphis debate is not among the players they have not told they have not told they've not told to leave not to return to training javi has told neto Rikwi, Omtiti, and Mingueza that they don't have to come to training on Monday. That is managing Baka. You can check it out. Managing Baka has really come out and put it out. That they have told these players don't come on Monday because Barcelona is resuming its training on Monday. So that's what that's what Xavi has really told them. But Memphis Depay is part of that team. Is part of that team. Is part of that team in there for you that is really doing great at Barcelona. But it looks like when you look at the plans of Barcelona, they don't want Memphis Depay. <laughs> they got him on a free from a side which goes by the names of Lyon. He really had two, three fantastic seasons on that side. He impressed Barcelona. And remember by the time, the Dutch manager, Koeman, was in, tard, in charge of Barcelona. And they really said, all right, let's get their things rolling. And they got him on a free. But they feel like he is... He is surplus to what they're having. He's surplus to what they're having. So when you look at Barcelona, I've even read another story that Javi wants a front three of Rafinha, Lewandowski, and Osman Dembele. You get remember on bench, you'll be having Anso Fati, you'll be having Ferran Torres, you'll be having um which other player really? You'll be having Gavi. So when you look at the squad of Barcelona, it can no longer accommodate accommodate Memphis Depay and Memphis Depay has to find a way out and it's reported that Memphis Depay has been offered to Arsenal before he really left for Barcelona very many very many very many outlets we are really linking him to a side which goes by the names of Arsenal it's back in the news let's wait and see how this story is going to develop in the week that we are starting tomorrow because tomorrow Monday lots of things are really going to unveil Arsenal is traveling to Germany to prepare for each preseason on that side, there is a game they are going to play against Nuremberg. That is on the 8th. You get Arsenal on the 8th. They are really going to play a team which goes by the name of Nuremberg. 8th is when? 8th is uh, today is 4th. Monday is 4th. So on Friday, Arsenal are playing Nuremberg in their first preseason game. That is official. That is going to be televised on TV. The one they played against Ipswich Town, it was behind those. You can as well go on the YouTube channel of Arsenal and see the highlights there and enjoy how Arsenal really played very well. That Thomas Party 
pass he really gave to Eddie Nketi and scored that goal has really taken social media by storm. So to me, I really believe that it's really something that is doing great in there at the side which goes by the names of Arsenal. So that is what Arsenal really are on to. Memphis Depay has been offered to a side which goes by the names of Arsenal in there for you. Now, let's get into this big story that many Arsenal fans are really waiting for. Arsenal scheduled to meet Ajax next week. Pre Martinez, both Arsenal and United believe his keen and personal terms are no issue. If Ajax get what they want, 50 million euros fixed, player must pick. Ten Hag, factor, kit United, but rest still open, and that is David Austin. When David Austin comes out and really puts a story like that, it shows you that it's, it's a rest that is not that is not going to end now until the player really chooses which side is going to sign for. I know United has really gone ahead to put in a bid of 38.7 million pounds, 4 million pounds more than that of Arsenal of 34.7 million pounds that he really put on. And Arsenal really put on some add-ons as a third bid, but it was rejected. Even that of Manchester United, it said Ajax have not yet replied. So we are waiting for the reply of Ajax, but it looks like Arsenal are really going to meet the representatives of of to meet Ajax. Arsenal scheduled to meet Ajax next week. You get? So if they want to meet Ajax and talk to them and they ask them, guys, we are the ones who are the front runners of this deal, but you are holding it as if you want the player to go to Manchester United. What is up? What are you up to? Because it was reported that Arsenal had pulled out of this deal, but Fabricio said, no, they're 100% still in this deal. That's what they really had to come out and say about that deal of a player who goes by the names of, by the names of, by the names, or that player, that player by the names of Memphis Depay in there for you so that is Arsenal in there for you doing the needful trying to chase a deal of Lissandro Martinez and they've decided to go on and meet the likes of the Van der Sars and the head of Ajax administration to really let them know you guys are you giving us the player or not then Fabrice has come out and really enlightened on the deal he has said Lissandro Martinez and his camp will be clear again with Ajax board he only wants Premier League football so he wants to make a good choice between Arsenal and Manchester United proposals hoping for Ajax to let him go Eric Ten Hag confident on this deal pushing again so Eric Ten Hag looks like their players is really looking at that are really so much so much realistic on him and he believes that when he brings them at Manchester United he's really going to improve lots of things Lisandro Martinez is one of those players really believes that he's going to bring in here and it's a battle between Arsenal and Manchester United and who can convince this player most. I told people, if this player was playing for Eric Ten Hag, that does not give you a guarantee that it's really going to see United win this race. That's out. Let no one lie to you that United is going to win this race because of the relationship the player had with his ex-manager at Ajax. That is a lie. I'll be lying to you if at all I, I say that to you. The fact is, the player and his agent are really working hard to see to it that they really secure a Premier League move for the player. The player is okay to either go to Manchester United or Arsenal. He has not yet made a choice. You get? Not until we hear that he has really made a choice, that's when we'll come here and outline to you that the player has decided to go in and play for Arsenal or go out to play for a side which goes by the names of Manchester United. That is Lisandro Martinez in there for you. Then we have C. Melo in there for you. He's, he works at TY Sports, Super Deportivo, and very many others in there for you. He has come out and said Manchester United offered 45 million euros for Lisandro Martinez, equivalent to 35.7 million pounds, bonuses included. And the figure is very similar to Arsenal's last offer, despite Ajax's resistance to parting to parting with him, the player wants to take advantage and experience in and have experience in the Premier League. So that is what even Fabrizio Romano is really telling us about this deal of a man who goes by name to Lisandro Martinez. But it's really going tense in there for you. And I think Arsenal fans are looking like they are fed up of this deal. But you shouldn't get fed up of this deal because if you see that you are signing a player and no other team is really chasing for that player, 
just so that player is not good enough. But if at all you are really chasing for a player and other teams are really chasing for him, just know you're on the right track. You just have to do the needful to convince that player. And secondly, it shows you how far Arsenal has changed. That, that Rafinha deal teaches Arsenal people a lot. If you're a fan of Arsenal, when did you last see Arsenal chasing for a player in the profile of Rafinha battling with Chelsea, Spurs and Barcelona? And what really put Arsenal out of the race was that the player had already made an ultimatum that I'm not going to play for any team apart from Barcelona. And I read a source yesterday that Rafinha came out and told his team that even if it means to stay one more season at Leeds, I will until Barcelona resolves its financial situation. That's how much this player wants to play for, for, for Barcelona. So Arsenal fell out of this race not because the player, not, not because they were outbidded in terms of money or anything else, but the player came out and made it clear that I want to be playing for a side which goes by the names of Barcelona. Only, only. So that's why Arsenal were reluctant and they said, if at all you are to make a third bid for Rafinha, Rafinha and his agent Deco have to confirm to us that they are coming to us because we can outcompete Chelsea, we can outcompete anyone in terms of money, we have £250 million to spend, we can compete, we can outcompete anyone, but we need that assurance in there for you. That's the side which goes by the names of Barcelona and Rafinha. So that's what Arsenal is up to. If you're an Arsenal fan, you should be happy for this. Arsenal are going in for players that they couldn't go in for the previous day. Look at the previous summer. The players Arsenal brought in. Lokonga, you get they are battling with him with an Italy side, Lazio, you get? Not a top side. Odegaard, no club needed him. Madrid gave them, Madrid sold him to them at £30 million. Mm, Tomiyasu, they are battling with Spurs, at least for him. He really had someone to battle him with. Nuno Tavares, no one. Uh, which other player did Arsenal bring in last season? Aaron Ramsdale, no team was willing to spend all cash in for him. It shows you that there is a very big difference from the players Arsenal were really targeting last summer and this summer. This summer, every player Arsenal were targeting, it really had a lot of suitors for that player. Apart from, apart from, um, apart from Fabio Vieira, because his deal was underground, we just got to know it when they broke it out that they've agreed terms with the player and they've really agreed a deal with FC Porto. So it shows you a lot of improvement for Arsenal and they don't want that same situation to happen in the same way as Andrew Martinez. But they're still pushing to see if this deal comes to the line and they really get this player. But they really have a very big hinge of United in there for you. So there is a lot, there is a lot of sweats to be broken into this deal to get it happen in there for you. So we wait and see whether Arsenal will hinge onto this deal, all note and pull out and really find out a replacement for Lisandro Martinez in there for you. Then the Sun Arsenal has come out and told Arsenal are suffering to find a taker for club record 72 million pound signing Nicola Pepe and might have to allow him to leave on loan despite reportedly reducing their asking price 25 million pounds. But I doubt, I doubt at 25 million pounds. There will be very many teams that need services of Nicola Pepe. He's not selling at 25. If I told he wanted like 40 or 30 plus, I would have said he's going to sell for them. But I know a team is going to come out and really get Nicola Pepe the money. I was checking on the contract. He's left with just one year. Now, if I told you loan Nicola Pepe when he's left with one year, that means he's going to go out for the free. That means Arsenal we're going to get in any money they want. So 25 million pounds are not bad. I think they're going to get in a they're going to get in a team that is really going to go ahead and really sign Nicola Pepe. I saw him start into that team of Arsenal that had that had that had Bernard Leno, Hector Bellerin, Suarez, Suarez, then um, Ben White, Pablo Mari, Lokonga, uh, which other player played in the midfield? Thomas Partey, um, which other player? Uh, they had uh, Eddie Nketiah, Ray Nelson, um, and Pepe. All right, Pepe. Pepe started off the left side of the attacking mid. Sorry, the right side of the attacking midfield, and Ray Nelson played the opposite side. So, 
you never know. He might be impressing the coach in this preseason. And Matola Mpepe, where Arsenal is going, I think it's better to go in and impress the coach. But even if you impress the coach, it looks like they're not so much interested in you. That's why they went in for they went in for Maquinos, that left-footed young 19-year-old Brazilian who is in London already to join the team to go to Germany. And they've also gone ahead to try to get in Rafinha to come and compete with Bukayo Saka, meaning that Nicola Pepe has been already identified by Mikel Ateta that is not giving enough competition for a player who goes by the names of of a player who goes by the names of Bukayo Saka. So it looks like the coming in of Rafinha was brought in to go and really give a player a lot of chess for his position and really improve in there for you. So that's what managers do when they really want to improve their players. But to me, I really believe that Rafinha would have won that race. Though people don't really admit it, but Rafinha is a different kind of player altogether. Then we go to Cody Gapko. Cody Gapko really plays for a side which goes by names of PSV. You get? He was on the ladder of Arsenal even even <coughs> even last summer. Arsenal are looking for him. A lot of January transfer window, we really talked about Cody Gapko and people asking themselves, if you don't know, Cody Gapko is a 23-year-old in there for you. We look at Cody Gapko. He's 23 years old. He played 27 games in the LDVZ, 27 matches, 12 goals scored and 13 assists. And in the KNVB Cup, he played four games and scored two goals. So that means the entire season, he played 30, but there is the UEFA Europa League. These guys were playing the UEFA Europa League. We need to bring the stats of the UEFA Europa League. Where are they? Show me more stats, man. Show me more stats of the UEFA Europa League. I want to really bring up and add up this guy a lot. He played four games in the UEFA Europa League. You get four games in the UEFA Europa League. He played six games in the Champions League and scored two goals. Add those. So in the number of he even played four goal four games in the um, UEFA Europa League and scored two goals. That means in ten games he had he had four goals, zero assists. Then when he went to when he went to the KN, KN, KNVB Cup that they won after beating Everton Hag's side Ajax, he played four games and scored two goals. Those are fourteen games and six goals. You get. Then we go to the LDVZ, where he played 27. When you add the, f the 27 to 14, that is 41, he scored 12 goals. Adding them to the 14, those are 26 goals. Add on the 13, the 13 assists, meaning that he was so much involved in 39 goals out of the 41 games he played. What an output for Cody Gapko. And Arsenal are really looking for Cody Gapko. It has been reported by Mirror Football that Cody Gapko is keen to test his talent outside the Netherlands. And the £40 million rated PSV and Heaven Winger already has interest from Leeds and Arsenal, among others. So, Arsenal are pushing hard to get Cody Gapko. That lad is so amazing. 23 years of age. He'll be really a very good, impressive winger in there for you he plays on both wings very well but most probably on the left but i don't know whether they can really bring him in when they really have two accomplished players playing off the left that is gabriel martinetti and emily smith rowe to me i believe that they've already made their snap and it's confirmed and official i decide which goes by them to arsenal so we wait and see whether arsenal will continue to go in and pursue this player and even contact PSV in there, but it's been long since Arsenal has been really linked to this player. And if I told you want more information, of course, the Arsenal podcast really has a lot to offer onto that deal. Then Arsenal again, Arsenal son has come out and said Arsenal have opened talks with the representatives of the young little midfielder Amado Onana over a possible transfer this summer. So Arsenal have opened talks now. Last time, three days ago, when I did this story, they are saying that Arsenal were just interested into this player. But if at all they have opened talks to the representatives of this young midfielder who really made his French debut recently, he's a central defense midfielder and Arsenal need one. If you don't have Thomas Partey into that team, then you are down. So, is Arsenal going to go in and bring in this Onana guy and Yudi Tenemans? So, we wait and see where this really ends because the journey has just started. I think it's now a Maudu Onana over Yudi Tenemans. So, who is Mikel Ateta so much interested in? With my small intellect that I have, 
I know that obviously Mikel Ateta will be so much interested in Tillemans Yuri because he's proven. But they have to put in pressure to see to it that they really force Leicester City to come out and do a sell. But we are told that Newcastle and Manchester United are increasing their interest in Yuri Tillemans and they might really cash out. But Jacobs Benz has confirmed to us that unless otherwise Arsenal pulls out in this deal. But Yuri Tillemans has already agreed everything with him which goes by names of Arsenal and is ready to go on and do the needful with the side which goes by the names of Arsenal. That is a man who goes by the names of Ben Jacobs. Very much, very much reliant and his information is on point and is undoubted. So we leave that central defensive midfielder for us who they're interested in and let's get into this one. A story coming in from Record Portugal again. Arsenal have made an official inquiry for the Benfica left back Alex Grimaldo. The 25 year old Spanish left back is thought to be worth around £7 million, and Mikel Ateta is keen to bring in defensive reinforcements in the left back. This role. Record Portugal, source from Portugal coming out and reporting this story. Again, it has not yet hit the uk media but it's still rotating from portugal even last time there is a source from portugal that we really reported this story that arsenal have made any that arsenal really are really are really maneuvering on the left spanish left back who plays for benefica in there for you so it say that even arsenal were so much interested in him during the january transfer window they were really scouting him and this gives you a notification that maybe the alessandro martinez deal Arsenal are trying to notice that it might not go in their favor. Maybe the agent has really come out and told them that, please, the fact is the player doesn't want to come and play your side. He wants to play for a side which goes by the names of Manchester United. And then Arsenal are really going to get in this guy. Because Arsenal wanted to bring in Lisandro Martinez, especially, or more importantly, to cover up most times when Kian Tien is always injured. Because Kian Tien his injuries are so much, so much, so much unlikely you don't know when it's going to happen you don't know when he really gets an injury when you need him he can be a viral but he's really a very good player he's one of my top left backs in the premier league robertson luke shaw kientiani chuchurella <laughs> there for you those are my best four left backs in the league so at that at this level when you are not sure of him being fully fit for the entire season then you have to bring in a backup Tavares. Has been a disappointment to many to me i really believe that he just deserves to be really polished and it can come a very good fin and it can become a very good finished product though very many arsenal fans don't want to hear it because he really made them lose very many games in their way but i believe let's wait and see whether this happens and Rotavares is being linked to a move away from arsenal and they want to loan him and maybe sell him but his price is ridiculous 40 million euros in there for you but if at all they are charging 40 million euros for Rotavares just know they also know how good this player is but he just needs enough playing time and i believe they should give him an appropriate loan for a side which goes by names of arsenal and i know kian Tierney was being looked at by real madrid and man city as the replacements of marcelo and benjamin respectively for man city mendy is under his incarceration because he allegedly raped women sexual assault for marcelo at real madrid he really retired they also have a mendy so but they are not so much comfortable with the way he really flows onto that left back so they believe that kian tien can be a solution either to man city or to real madrid so i think bringing a left back and learning whatever is arsenal are preparing themselves for the season i think next season apart from the season of 2020 2023 they are preparing for the post for the post key and tiny era in there for you lastly it's the story of gabby jesus and when he's going to be announced no issues on gabby jesus deal the official announcement will arrive very soon documents are signed between arsenal and man city arsenal fc's gabriel contract with arsenal will be valid until 2027 no changes no issues fabricio romano has really put the hearts of arsenal supporters onto a comfort couch <laughs> they're really asking themselves why haven't they announced him but today i really got to know the reason as why they not announced him they cannot announce gabby jesus before they announce or they show up a player 
who goes by the name of Marquinos, holding the shirt number of Arsenal. They are waiting in for Marquinos to come in through and do the needful. Then after unveiling him, because they already announced that he's joined Arsenal, then after announcing him, they are going to go in and bring in a player who goes by the names of Gabriel Jesus. So his announcement is imminent, but they just want to see to first show you Marquinos holding that shirt. Then later, they'll come up and do the needful. Thank you guys for watching in 30-minute video. Thank you for watching us always. But tell me what you think about Lisandro Martinez, Arsenal meeting Ajax over Lisandro Martinez. Then Arsenal offered Memphis Depay, um, wishing Balogan a happy birthday. He's 21 years of age. Then no suitors for Pay Pay. Would you really recommend Mikel Ateta to keep him at Arsenal after missing out on Rafinha? You get. Then, which other story? Gabriel Jesus. Then um, there is Nana, that central midfielder from Lille. So, guys, feel free to get the comment section and tell me what you think about this in there for you. Go by the names of Rock and David. I sign out for now. See you later. But more stories are coming up onto this story. On this channel, sorry.